Oi, oi, kia ora na, kia ora na, talo for lava, bull of a naka, tu te re maina, eats well. Brother, now, something a little different today. It's a beautiful Sunday. Um, shout out to uh, the dog offers and the offers. Look at it, look at it. Clean, brother. Clean. Um, Samuel, but... If you guys are, hey, and I, I do get people saying, Doggo, where you get your shirt, where you get this from? If you search up Offers and Offers on Instagram, you'll find the page. Um, check out their stuff. Um, the material is, um, you know, it's on, brothers. But in saying that, I'm reacting to today um, because I seen him on TikTok the other day and I was, I was, I was thrilled to see him jump on his live and, um, you know, to, to have a conversation with him or just have a few words and for him to, uh, you know, let it be known what's good, uh, Samuels, um, let us be. Now, for those people, you know the tracker. Now, the only reason why I wanted to do this is not because of that reason as well, but because, you know, I think sometimes we got to take it back and listen to the good tracks, the tracks that have real meaning, you know what I mean? Like, this track here, I remember the first time I heard it, and as we go along with this tracker, we will, uh, we will, we will, we will reminisce. All right. So, if you're new here, um, this one's for you because you probably won't like this channel. But I don't give a fuck. No one asks you to be here longer than this video is right now. So, please exit and wipe your ass on the way out. Dick. No, just jokes. Um, but if you've been here, you already know it is what it is. Um, it's all love. It's all just shit talking, bit of fun. You know, opinions are a motherfucker. Everyone has one. Um, and you know, people have their opinions on me. I don't give a fuck. Good or bad, I take it in. Doesn't bother me. But without further ado, brothers and sisters, Samuels, let us be. I'm going to turn this bitch up. Let's go. Oh, it's not up. Here we go. Now, for those people who know this song, salute. For those who have never heard this song before, by all means. I remember the story. The story's going to start right now. This is back in New Zealand. I was driving with someone. <laughs> Right, day one of mine, and I think it was a remix version, like a DJ Noise or something version. Never heard it, and I was going, Oh, you know, it's like the track was good, the beat was good. Never heard it, and as we were driving, we we're going along um, the motorway from the airport going towards Mount Roscoe, right? I'm gonna ride in a bit, all right? Remember, was this? This is me. I'm sitting there. That alone, if you listen to lyrics, that alone, right? If 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 you if you got a girl and you feel a certain way, that those lyrics alone. Brother, I, was, I remember I was sitting there and I was like, Is this bit? I was going, Still listening? And I was listening. Bro, I was on goosebumps. I've already got goosebumps listening to this again because this is how powerful this fucking song is because people have been in this situation, right? No lies, no lies. But me in the passenger seat, I'm just going... To have a 
to have a song like this, to someone sing these words out into fruition for people to fucking hear, cunt, right? It's probably one of the best fucking things I've ever heard first time, right? This song, there was a Sammy J song, but anyway, as the chorus was coming on, I turned to the driver to acknowledge him because he was saying, have you heard this song? I was like, nah. And as I was listening to that verse, I was like, fuck. This song's fucking dope. And when the chorus came in, I went to turn to look at him. Right? I'm, like, I'm, I'm looking at him like this. And he's throwing his The man was breaking. <laughs> I would never forget it. I was sat there. Bobbing my head like motherfucker Samuels, you motherfucking legend. Right? Bringing out a tracker like this, right? And then looking at the driver, and the man was screaming these lyrics out, like, driving, like, eyes closed. I was like, brother, fucking hold the steering wheel, bro. I'm gonna fucking die! Right? I don't know, in the last 10 years, if you can find a song about, you know, trouble in a relationship that involves others, you know, nothing, no cheating, no nothing like that, just within families, right? It could be just, just the Islander thing, but I know it happens a lot in the Islanders, probably, yeah, and Balinese too, but their, their reasoning is different to an Islanders, or well, they're just racist. You know, like, what, are you, what, are you, what are you with that fucking brown boy over there? I mean, does he have a horse cock? <laughs> ah, but I'm telling you. And I remember just going, holy shit, we're gonna die because the driver's lost the fucking plot. And then what makes it worse is the fucking second verse. I, I, I was thinking the first verse was first verse was fucking solid. The hook, my goodness, I'm creaming in my fucking undies with the passenger seat with another man in the fucking car driving who's fucking nearly in tears, right? And he understands that I love the song because me and him love this music shit. And he understood he understood that where the song was taking me and him, well, taking me, he knew that I knew what it meant to him, right? And I was just looking at him like, fuck, we're gonna die today on the road, man. But then the second verse, First of all, he was harmonizing throughout the whole song, but then when it came to that bit, Macho Man came out. He's no longer. No shit. I remember this fucking day so vividly because not only I had fucking a fucking wonderful track, right? But I remember who I was with and what he was doing and fearing for my life that I would never see my family again because of the way he was driving. So when you were singing, Yeah. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I gotta take it back. It was like the uh, the night I was, uh, I was uh, jumped on Samuel's TikTok live, right? Straight away. The next morning, went to the gym and I had this playing on fucking repeat. And I was driving, like my driver was driving the first time I heard this. And I was fucking doing exactly the same thing. this right let me say this if you don't like this song right and you're still watching this reaction fuck you you're a fucking tosser and you probably got a dick in your house <laughs> Have you met Baba Yaya Baba? back on a Sunday, but let me salute the doppel, because honestly, if anyone can find me a song that can match this song in the last 10 years, let me know, write it in the comment section, or, or message me on Instagram, for those who don't have my Instagram, or S-U-P-A, no, 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 Un no, 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 hold up, at underscore S-U-P-A, 81, the number 81, you'll find me, right? Super 81. But if you can find a tracker as good as this tracker, not talking about, oh, you want to ban your friend, and none of that messy shit. This is just straight fucking clean, beautiful lyrics and fucking vocals, right? To excruciate the pre Mario and straight in your ass. All I know is Samuels. This song lives with me forever. And ever, and that memory I've had when I first heard it because I was gonna fucking, I was worried, I was worried, man. I thought the driver was gonna go, fuck this life, right? <laughs> but in saying that, um, I'm gonna have to ask you guys to do, do, do me a favor, do me a favor. Right, continue to play this shit, continue to blast this song, continue to run up these numbers and follow Samuels on his social media platforms. Um and just let it be known. Like you gotta you gotta protect these gems, you gotta protect, protect, you gotta protect. Good music and beautiful talent. 
and listening to a few of his uh, conversations he's had on live and whatnot, you know, you have to protect the beautiful souls that have been saved. You know what I mean? But in saying that, all love to Samuels. I appreciate this song in nobody's can comp comprehend what it means because it's fucking just fucking one of the best shit I've ever fucking heard in my life. But in saying that, due, dil due diligence is needed to be done. <laughs> what am I saying? Follow the double, subscribe to his channel, do all that good stuff. And we'll see you again. All right? If you didn't like the reaction, if you think it's too long, if you think it's this and think it's that, please go and fuck your ass. Yeah, the boys.